uh, this is the schematic explanation how uh, the roof are touched. We have a ply roof and uh, it was touched over it. So first we got uh, a rafter of uh, 10 centimeters high and then purin was nailed uh, uh, over it. So then uh, laying uh, glass and uh, then uh, putting the uh, uh, wire in horizontal then the uh, copper wire uh, holding the top ring with the, uh, hand, uh, the tool which he made especially for this way uh, the third one uh, from the bottom the top has uh, two different uh, directed uh, uh, cuts and uh, one uh, cut hold the ring of the uh, copper wire and uh, pushing it down to the uh, rear of the uh, glass and uh, uh, another one uh, taken uh, up uh, the uh, to tie down at the uh, with the copper uh, sorry uh, the wire uh, horizontal wire so he tied it down so one by one he did it and the morning to uh, late in the uh, evening uh, he had work he did uh, worked uh, quite hard and he left uh, the uh, such uh, tools for me to mend the meantime this is the such the roof by him Maybe already it passed uh, oh, oh, uh, 14 or 15 years, even longer. And uh, he came over once in a few years, so he, he mended uh, time to time. So it's uh, relatively well kept. And uh, the weather here is uh, worse uh, for uh, the roof. Uh, it's a bit warmer than South Sirens, where he came from. Now this uh, such the uh, grass uh, is called a uh, bull rush. Uh, it has uh, some uh, porous uh, stuff uh, in the straw. Now that start to rotting and. Uh, Actually, touching a, a material should have hollows. In some uh, thick grass, you notice, there are the rice grass. And then he hit it in, but it's uh, not that strong as a bulrush, and uh, not a proper material, uh, maybe. So in general, uh, New Zealand does not have, does not look to have a good uh, touching material. But one information uh, I got uh, says uh, there is a uh, native grass, uh, native water reed, which is called kuta. I have to find out uh, how it grows and so on. Now uh, it's a difficult to see but uh, the uh, his roof is uh, wrapped with a bird net because birds are really uh, fond of uh, such the roof uh, to have a nest there pulling uh, the straws uh, with their strong beaks well they are very clever but at the same time, they leave uh, us a nice uh, gift. This uh, kahikatea started to grow uh, from their drops. And uh, I made a hole for the tree. And I can't grow it uh, very tall. Maybe uh, I may have to cut uh, its uh, branches time to time. But it's uh, good uh, for uh, have an uh, carton uh, in front of my bedroom. Now this is a, a renovation of uh, uh, 
look at the, the, the whole uh, houses. Uh, th this is a, a national treasure uh, of uh, such the roof uh, houses uh, village and uh, people are helping and uh, uh, store the uh, uh, grass they are carrying to the every uh, rolled uh, persons and now this is the a wonderful uh, such the roof the house uh, at the museum uh, there uh, each uh, place in japan has a different climate so such a Japanese such a uh, tried a uh, lot of uh, different efforts which uh, produces a different touch of a house. This is a house of uh, David Stadholm's ancestors and uh, the first work of Nobel uh, in New Zealand. Uh, of course uh, the, he followed uh, to do it uh, as uh, uh, David uh, ancestors did. Next two photos are uh, taken by uh, Professor uh, Horie at Kansai University, took uh, in uh, East Europe. They look at such a uh, wonderful uh, uh, trade, amazing how they did it like that. This is uh, definitely should be kept uh, for generations to generations. This is then such the roof by the seaweeds in Denmark and a little bit of a heavy structure but uh, such in a way local climate uh, gives a different touch of uh, touching. I call it the vernacularism and the touching is really typical vernacularism I feel.